anlat heyin vayye ahtar şarvayye antayız tasmarkının tüçün doktopir arıç yukruzunun ahtol suç ara gemal yaraferin verilu satnem In the Faroe Islands, every day after the news, they announce who has uh, died. People that come from other places, they think it's a, a strange and morbid, uh, you know, talk about death when you're having lunch. But I think it's the opposite. It uh, reminds me about how amazing life is. I've always been extremely scared of dying. Really, I, I, I think about it at least once a day. When I'm dead, I will be dead. And that's uh, terrible. <laughs> so it's only when I talk about other people, they, they can die, but not me. It's so finished when you're dead. <laughs> It's so totally not alive. All these um, pictures and everything, they are like physical things that will be here uh, even after um, I'm dead. I don't know if they will be interesting, but they will be here. <laughs> to me, it would be unthinkable to to exist without without art. It's like you have a part of a person on your wall, a complex part of his or her imagination. Each and every person is, is different. And that means that all works of art have the same diversity and the stories they tell. It's a sort of, of uh, understanding the magnificence of life. My mother got dementia. It's like uh, watching a person slowly uh, fading away. If you have stared into the eyes of nothingness, then it's really for me that I, I, I appreciate uh, everything. Everything from the smell of coffee in the morning to a conversation, a glass of wine, a book, a painting, everything is just so meaningful because I know it's not forever. I have a son. I tell him every day what a good life is. I asked him uh, how was school today, and I'm not that interested in the academics. Uh, it's more of, did you feel that you were having a good time with your friends? Because I really think that is the most important. It's uh, having a, a, a good relationship with, uh, with other human beings. If you have some good people around you, you will have a good life. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not the perfect mother. And I say, I say it to him, you have to excuse me today. I just have been, I've been so preoccupied with some articles and I haven't been a real good mom. He says, you're perfect mom. You, you are like, mom, moms are not always like uh, happy, so. I learn a lot from my son. He has uh, really learned me to, uh, to, to like myself uh, as I am. Some years ago, I wouldn't dream of being in like this 
giant red sweater because then you're very visible. But now I'm much more like, uh, it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm visible, it's all right. Uh, I can soon enough become very, very thin, <laughs> you know, in my grave. <laughs> so I, I just think it's, a, it's, a, it's all right, it's, a, it's great. <laughs> I hope that I will get really, really old, and I hope that I won't lose my mind. Maybe I will become one of these old ladies that, you know, just says exactly what she means. A very unpolite old lady. I hope so. <laughs> bad, 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 terrible, terrible. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this week's film. For the last two years, we shared a new story every week. And we'd love for you to be part of this journey so that we can continue to tell these stories into the future. And you can do that really easily by signing up to our Patreon page. We've written the link in the write-up down below this film. Thank you for your support.